The name Matthew McDuffie may not be too familiar to those outside of the film industry in New Mexico. However, that's all about to change. While McDuffie, who has taught screenwriting at the University of New Mexico for 15 years, has had screenplays produced before, his latest, The Face of Love, has some heavy-hitting A-list actors performing the lines and the story born from his imagination. Uh, so Matt, tell us a little bit about the film. Um, it's really interesting in that it's based on a, a true story. Really? In that, well, it's about a woman who um, sees a man who is an exact double for her husband who's been dead for five years. And um, I was working on another project with the director, I love you. and he turned to me one day and he said, let me tell you a story. And he said his father had been dead for five years, and his mother came home and she said, I saw your father today. And he said, what? And she said, I saw your father. I was at the LA County Museum of Art and I was walking there, and." he passed right by me. And my friend, the director, Ari, posed and said, well, you know, Mom, that's impossible. She said, I, I know, I know. But it, was, it felt really good to see him there. And he, he said, isn't there a movie in there? And I said, yeah. As McDuffie describes the film, The Face of Love is a Hitchcockian love story, brimming with passionate, resonant performances from its starring cast. Of course, you, you have a, an incredible cast with this. You, you've got Annette Benning, Robin Williams, Ed Harris. How did you get these A-list talents on the movie? Um, the material. <laughs> um, we, had a, we had really strong producers. Um, Bonnie Curtis used to be um, uh, Steven Spielberg's producer and Julie Lynn has done so much independent work. So we had a lot of weight behind us. And uh, so that made the contact easier. It's interesting because it was initially, it was Diane Keaton that was attached to the movie you know, when it became greenlit. Um, she d bowed out and two weeks later, Annette Benning read the script and said, I love it, I want to be in. And I think Ed had been attached, you know, even earlier. And to watch them on set was I don't have the words for it because, I mean, she can just carve it out of the air and Ed is just all power and sexuality and he just like throws himself into it and it was just, it was just amazing to watch. So uh, the movie is screening here at the Guild Cinema. Um, what, has, is it going to other festivals? Has it already appeared in, in it festivals? It opened at the Toronto Film Festival and uh, we, luckily we got some good reviews from Hollywood Reporter and Variety. Um, and um, IFC is distributing it, and so now it's, it's out to about 50 cities. It's an, you know, it's an art house movie. It's not like, you know, nothing blows up. It's just two middle-aged people being deeply in love. So, um, yeah. But I'm very proud of it. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a gorgeous little movie. Yeah.